Looks like somebody got up on the wrong side of the face. <laughs> Woo! Ah. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Zensation Collectibles Face Double. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Just stand over here for one second, sir. And here we have the packaging. We have some artwork here of Face Double. Yes, Face Double! One six collectible action figure. On this side, you just have some more of that purple animal prints. Sensation collectible. Smiley Grinny, Sensation Collectible. On the other side, just have more Sensation Collectible. On the back of the box, some more of that purple animal print with the smiley faces. Warning, don't eat anything in the box. That could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. That's not a Hot Toys box, so I can throw it. <laughs> so, moving right along. Here we have Face Double. Or, as you can clearly see, this is supposed to be Two-Face from uh, Batman Forever. This is Tommy Lee Jones' Two-Face. And um, this is basically a, uh, I guess you could call it a, a third-party Hot Toys. <laughs> third-party 1-6 scale figure, I guess. Because it's not officially licensed, obviously. His name is Face Double instead of Two-Face. But, um, yeah, I, I picked this up uh, from uh, Maybang Collectibles. I saw it, and um, it just... You know, automatically said, oh, I have to have this, because I actually really like Tommy Lee Jones as Two-Face. I thought he was a good Two-Face. Um, you know, definitely a different take on Two-Face, a lot sillier, but uh, I, I like Tommy Lee Jones as Two-Face. I always thought it was, uh, I thought he did a good job with the character. But, um, yeah, let's get in close here so you can see the head sculpt. The head sculpt is is pretty good. I mean, if we look at the, uh, the non-scarred side here, I mean, it's... It's it's a close likeness to Tommy Lee Jones. It's not exact. It's not dead on, but it's it's pretty close. It's 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 in the ballpark of Tommy Lee Jones, I think. Um, yeah, not bad. Some good detailing here in the hair. Some pretty good paintwork as well um, on the skin tone and whatnot. The eyes, the eyes look pretty good. Didn't do a good job on the eyes there. And then, of course, on the scarred side here, you can see, pretty well done. See the hair? You know, again, pretty, pretty well sculpted. Not fantastic, but they did, they did a pretty good job. Take a look at the back here. And you can see, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Now we come down to his suit here. You can see the tie here with the red. And the yellow, I guess that's supposed to be like zebra prints going on here or something, I don't know. <laughs> but, you can see here the two sides of his suit, right there with the purple animal print here, you got this going on. Again, pretty well done. Come down, legs here, see his shoes. Shoes are not incredibly detailed, they're just, you can see the, the molded detail is pretty, uh, lift this up here. The molded detail on his shoes is pretty, uh, pretty shallow. It's just kind of a hint there of laces and a little bow up top. Right there. And going down the back. You can see how everything looks there. He does have the gloved hand. Which again, the paintwork is alright. The silver paint on it, it's a, it's a little bit on the sloppy side. Not great. It is what it is. Now, articulation-wise, um, his head does have some wiggly, waggly movement. Of course, it can rotate. He can look up a good ways. He can look down a little bit, side to side, a little bit. So you got some good range of movement there. The arm can do a full 360. Of course, you know, the suit will kind of hinder it a little bit. You just kind of have to work with it to kind of get his arm up. Um, you do have only about that much outward movement. Right there, there is a swivel. I can't tell where the swivel is. The swivel is, yeah, it's at the bicep. I can feel it moving up here. So it does have a bicep swivel. Um, the elbows, good range of movement right there. Um, the hands, 
can rotate and they do have that hinge that allows them to swing in and out. Um, you do have a little bit of a waist joint. It doesn't move too much. Probably just due to um, the clothing. So you only get a little bit of swivel at the waist. He does have a bit of an ab crunch. He can crunch a little bit forward. He can move a little bit back, but not too much. Legs can go forward that much. Back, only about that much. Outward movement, that's all you're going to get out of him. Um, there is a thigh swivel. Um, knees have nice full range of movement there. And his ankles, as you can see right here, are on a ball joint. So it can move up, it can move down. You do get some ankle tilt out of it. It does have socks, which is nice. <laughs> and there you go. So there you have that. Now he does include some accessories. Whoop, whoop, whoop. His ankles are a little bit on the loose side, though. That's one thing he has in common with Hot Toys, that the ankles are always a little bit loose. You stay. You, you stay. Now he does include accessories. He does have a base right here, which comes in two parts, just plain black base right here. Just plug this part in right there, and it does have the adjustable cradle, which is actually really hard to move, but ugh, kind of pull it out entirely. It does have the adjustable cradle there. So, you got that. He also does include two guns right here. One that is done in silver and one that is done in black. And actually pretty nicely molded. Paintwork is pretty good on them. Alright, so there's a silver one. Here's the black one. You can see again. The black one does have a nice... Uh, Nice little uh, metal flake finish to it. A little silver flex in there. Which is nice. So you have that. He has his two guns. He does include a pair of handcuffs. Right here. And I believe these handcuffs are die cast. Because they do have a bit of weight to them. On the metal chain. Now, the handcuffs don't open at all. They're just in this position. So you can't really do anything with them. Um, you can pop his hands out and put the handcuffs on him. If you want. So you got a pair of handcuffs. Of course, you do get his coin right here, which is tiny. I'll try to get this in focus. There we go. Little coin right there. It is a two-headed coin, although unfortunately, um, it's not scratched on either side. Again, I don't know how well. It's very hard to hold this thing. It's so tiny. But, um... You can see there, like, it's it's actually not scratched on either side. Um, both of the sides are clean. But, of course, you can always just take, like, a little razor blade and scratch up one side if you want. It's only up to you. It wouldn't be hard to modify that. There you go. He has his little coin right here. And he also does include alternate hands. Now, right now, he has this kind of semi-relaxed hand on this side. And he has a gun-holding hand on this side. Um... He does also include, stay, he does also include a uh, left gun holding hand, which unfortunately doesn't have the glove on it, which sucks, um, <laughs> but he does have a left gun holding hand right there, which is actually pretty nicely molded. Um, there are some little bits of, uh, I don't know if you can see it, some little bits of mold flash there, which is a bit unfortunate, but... There you have that. You get two uh, coin flipping hands right here, a left and a right. And again, you know, I do have a little bit of a little bit of mold flash going on here and there. Not the cleanest pieces, but you have that. And you also get a more relaxed uh, left hand with the glove on it. And you have that. So, there you go. So you can swap the hands out. The hands just pop on and off. And uh, actually, we'll swap this hand. The hands are a little bit hard to swap out. These hands are actually really, uh, really tight. So what we'll do is we'll pop in the... Uh, there we go. That went on a lot easier than I thought. 
Give him the coin flipping hand. And uh, what I do with his coin? Oh, there we go. <laughs> and you only get one of these coins, so if you lose it, you're out of luck. You don't get a replacement when you just kind of take that and just put that in there. There you go. He's ready to flip. Ready to flip for your life. Like I said, it does kind of suck that the um, the, uh, the 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 left gun holding hand doesn't have the glove on it because then it doesn't eh, it doesn't work. It doesn't match. He can kind of sort of hold the gun in this hand. It is kind of in a gun holding position, but eh, kind of sort of kind of sort of eh, you know. I mean it. It works, but it's not as perfect as it would be if it was, you know, one of these hands. But you can kind of get him holding the gun in that hand. Just, as you can see, just kind of <laughs> loosely holding it like, hey, I don't really feel... <laughs> it's kind of the way you hold something that grosses you out. Like, I don't really want it, you know. But you can have that going on if you want. So there you go. And for a comparison, here he is with the uh, Dark Knight Batman because they, I don't think they ever made a uh, Val Kilmer Batman for Hot Toys. You can see he's actually a little bit taller than Batman there. So there you have that. And just for fun, as always, here he is with me right there. And uh, I think I'm actually pretty much the same height as Two Face there. Yeah. There you go. So, there you have him with me. And, um, yeah, there you go. There you have Face Double. You are not Two-Face from not Batman Forever. <laughs> like I said, I, I, I like Tommy Lee Jones' Two-Face. Um, I'm actually really hoping that they do a Riddler just to go with him. Um, that would be nice. I think there might, there might actually be one already out on the market. I think I've seen it before. I don't know. I'm going to have to look around. See if I can find it. But I think they are, there is actually like a third-party Riddler six-scale figure. I'm going to have to start looking now. I'm going to have to start searching. I'm going to have to start hunting. But yeah, um, pretty cool. Uh, again, it's not perfect. It's not, you know, it's not full-on Hot Toys quality. Um, it's definitely uh, a lot cheaper price-wise. Um, I mean, a cheap Hot Toys figure now is, what, 220 for a cheap one? Um, this only goes for... Oh, 120 or 130 so it's definitely uh a lot more affordable if you're a one six scale collector um but yeah you figure I, I i dig it i i dig it for what it is and uh yeah so i bought this from uh maybang collectibles i'll put a link to their site in the description down below if you want to check out their stuff they do have some other third party six scale figures i think they have judge dread um i believe they have magneto from days of future pass I believe they have a third-party six-scale figure of him also. Um, but yeah, I'll put a link to their site in the description down below if you want to check them out. So there you have that. And you can also check out my Batman playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Zensation Collectibles Face Double, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Boom in your face double. <laughs> You're counting on the Winged Avenger to deliver you from evil, aren't you, my friend? <laughs> you a gambling man? Well, what say we flip for it? One man is born a hero, his brother a coward, babies starve, politicians grow fat, holy men are martyred, and junkies grow legion. But why? Why, 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 why? Luck! Blind, stupid, simple, doodah, clueless lark! <laughs> the random toss. <sighs> the only true justice. Let's see what justice has in store for you! Um, me Grimlock not know what you're talking about, but me Grimlock could kill you. Very easily. And me Grimlock not need coin to make that decision. 
I'd listen to him if I were you. Those giant robot dinosaurs mean business. Trust me. I know. <laughs>